Are we really getting a Martian student at Galaxy High? If his parents like our school, yes. Well, you don't seem pleased, Mr. Davinas. People say Martians have no feelings, that all they care about is rules. Mr. Davinas, I'm surprised at you. One should never judge people by rumors. Martians may be different, but so is everyone at Galaxy High. Some more so than others. That must be the Martian ship now. Salutations, Miss McBrain. I am Blox. My wife, Flox. Our son, Lox. Mr. Davinas, give Lox a warm Galaxy High welcome. Hi, I'm Milo Davinas, class president. Welcome to Galaxy High. Hey! Are you all right, Milo? Shall we start the tour, Miss McBrain? We wish to learn all the rules of your school. Why, uh, yes, of, of, of course. <laughs> you may go to class now, Milo. And thank you for your help. Hold it, Dweeby! This is a toll road! Yeah, cough up three glutes or find another way to class. Forget it. I'm not paying you, Dimbos. Is that so? Hey! What did he do to you, Beast? I don't know, but he's not getting away with it. Grab him! Hey! He zapped us too, Beast! It didn't hurt, did it? Uh, no. Then let's plasmarize him! Milo, you gazort. Why don't you watch where I'm going? Hey, what happened to the creep? Oh, if you don't mind, I'll... Eep, 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 eep! Flat! Baby, let me flat! What is this? A new dance? Looks more like a light show to me. It was Milo's fault. He tore around the corner like a madman, the big moogle. I couldn't help it. The bonk bunch was out to to plasmarize me. Whew. Sure is hot in here. Uh, Milo, do you feel all right? Not really. <coughs> I think I'll go back to the dorm and rest for a while. Milo! Oh, are you all right, Milo? Uh, I'm a little dizzy. Big news. Come on, Milo. We'll take you back to your dorm. Let me help too, Amy. You're sure you'll be okay, Milo? I, I, I just need a little rest. Thanks a lot, guys. And now, Milo. Get well, cause we think you are a swell. Take care of yourself, Milo. Whew. It's hot in here, too. Sure is quiet this morning. Holy cremola! What's wrong with them? They're like zombies. Green zombies. Excuse me. Milo? Salutations, Doyle. Please move aside. Locking the halls is against the rules. Salutations. 
Salutations, Amy. Bowie, Gilda, Wendy, what's happened to you? Nothing, Amy. Please excuse us. We do not wish to be late for class. It would be against the rules. This is too weird. We better go see Miss McBrain. She'll know what's going on. Salutations, Amy. Do you know that interrupting a faculty meeting is against the rules? This is like some goofy horror movie. Except it's really happening. <laughs> Salutations, Amy. <laughs> oh, no. Not the creep, too. We need help, Amy. Professor Eisenstein, he wasn't at the faculty meeting. Professor, you've got no antennas. Then I, oh, no. But I could get some if you really need them. What we need is your help, Professor. Something strange has happened to Galaxy High. Everyone's turned into zombies, green zombies. It's true, Professor. Students, faculty, everybody. Except you, me, and Doyle. Uh -huh. Perhaps you better tell me more about this phenomenon. Phenomenon. This, this, this strange thing. Well, when Doyle and I got here... Galaxy High directly ahead, Captain. Tell Dr. Klotz to report to the bridge immediately, Mr. Splook. <laughs> and have the transzipper room stand by. And that's everything we know, Professor. This is awful, terrible, catastrophic. <laughs> and also pretty bad. What is it, Professor? Martian mumps. Martian mumps? What's that? Oh, a disease, my boy. A hideous plague which wipes out all personality as it turns its victims into Martians. <gasps> Our friends are turning into Martians? But how? Why? I believe Mr. Devinus must have made contact with an infected Martian, then spread the mumps to the other students and faculty. It takes only the slightest touch to catch it, you know. But, Professor, we did touch Milo. Does that mean... Cool your Lucas Clevelo. Earthlings are quite, quite immune. Unfortunately, I was in my lab all night. Aha! Here's for what I was looking for. According to my files, permanent Martianization takes place in 24 hours, and it is incurable. Looks like we better all start learning the Martian mambo. Yatata, 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 yatata. We can't let Galaxy High wind up Martianized. Martians are the dullest people I've ever seen. All they care about is rules. I know, I know. I once vacationed on Mars. Worst vacation I ever had. Then you'll try? What have we got to lose? You get Milo, you bring him here. As he was the first to get it, he'll provide the best subject for my experiments. Oh, thanks, Professor. You're Gweechy. What's that? Bio-quarter readings, Klotz. Sorry, Jim. That's my tape recorder. They're clean. No Martian mumps. Who are you guys? I'm Captain James T. Smirk of the Meta Federation Starship Eagle Eyes. Who they are, hmm, doesn't matter. I demand to see the leader of this installation. This is a high school captain. You want to see the principal, Biddy McBrain. I know that, Splook. Why do you always tell me things I know? Uh, Miss McBrain is teaching class, but she's got the Martian mumps. Aha! I knew it. Take me to this class immediately. Just follow us. Punch up today's lesson, please. Yes, Miss McBrain. Martian mumps, all right. No doubt about it. No, these poor teenagers, devoid of all emotion. No anger, no fear, no hatred, no violence, no joy, no love. Actually, that sounds rather pleasant. Oh, you wacko! This is a plague! Amy, Doyle, being late is against the rules. Please take your seats. Single file, please. Ms. Biddy McBrain, Principal of Galaxy High? Yes. By my order, Galaxy High is now under eternal quarantine due to the presence of Martian mumps. It will be towed to Mars and placed in orbit there forever. <laughs> Jim. You can't give an order like that without Meta Federation authority. 
<laughs> Dr. Klotz is right, Captain. Who cares about authority? We're dealing with Martians here, and they're tricky. Oh, yes, tricky. They'll creep into your schools, your homes, your Grebat supplies. Before you know it, and they'll be everywhere. Uh, Jim, I think you need a little rest. Rest? When the Martian menace is threatening the security of our whole galaxy? You see what I mean? All right, Martian, you're going back where you belong, to Mars. Students, we are going to Mars. No, you can't do that. Professor Eisenstein is going to find a cure. Cure for what? A cure? Jim, that could be. There's no cure for Martian mumps, Klotz. It's just another dirty Martian trick. Now, let's move out. Oh. What do we do now, Amy? Help Professor Eisenstein find a cure before we get to Mars. And for that, he needs Milo to experiment on. Time for lunch, students. <laughs> Follow me, Milo. But it's a new rule, Milo. I see. Doyle, Amy, you are breaking the rules. Go to the cafeteria at once. Yes, ma'am. All hands prepare for voyage to Mars. Mars? I don't like it any better than you do, but I've got a mission to carry out. The galaxy must be made safe from Martians, no matter what it takes. Mr. Splook, activate tractor beam. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, I love this part. Martians sure are calm. Yeah, galaxy highs have become about as lively as a mushroom festival. What was that? Oh, no! A tractor beam! That crazy captain is pushing us to Mars! Get off of me, you big turkey! Apologies, Doyle. Apologies? I just called you a turkey. I do not think that is against any rules. Doyle, what are you doing? We've got to help the professor. Oh, beef. Yes. I just wanted to tell you your rod stinks, your friends stink, and most of all, you stink. Thank you. Offensive odor is against the rules. I shall bathe. Doyle, are you trying to get yourself plasmarized? No sweat, Amy. Martians don't get mad, and this chance may never come again. <laughs> the boy is simple-minded. Hey, Bonk, I heard lunch was on you today. Looks good. <laughs> Only thing missing is your favorite dessert. Beef a la mode. I love it. I love it. <laughs> this is great. Oh, okay. boy. B Beef, y you're not a Martian. No, but you are Flugo food. Oh, brats. You should be thanking Doyle. I will, after I plasmarize him. <laughs> I got you now, it, boy. Beef, wait. Doyle cured you. You were a Martian. You space happy or something, Chicky. You were, Beef. You had Martian mumps. The whole school's got it. Just look around. What's with them? It's like we told you, Martian mumps. Look, roll it. Oh, it's the beef. Salutations, beef. Sorry to see you're no longer a Martian. Me, a Martian? Mars stinks. Yeah, well, unless you do something about it, we're all gonna be living there soon. They're putting the whole school in orbit around it. You've gotta help us, beef. Help dweebies like you? Why should I? Martians follow rules, Beef, and Roland and Earl are Martians now. No more dirty tricks, no stupid jokes, no cutting class, no bonk bunch. Now that stinks. Okay, here's what we'll do. The Captain Smirk here. Hello there. 
this is Professor Eisenstein talking on you from Galaxy High. Put him on the screen, Splook. What can we do for you, Professor? Captain, you must cancel the quarantine order immediately. We have discovered a cure for the Martian Mummy. You think you can fool me with a trick like that? There's no cure for Martian mumps. Well, this young man has the disease, and as you can see, he's quite normal now. So turn this school around, or you'll be dealing with the beef, slish brain! You call that normal? Nice try, Martian. Mr. Splook, kill that transmission. <laughs> You believe those sneaky Martians trying to make a fool out of James T. Smirk? <laughs> what a dimbo! Now what? I guess we've got to cure the whole school. Then you'll have to listen. How? You cure beef. All we have to do is figure out how you did it. Actually, I have a theory on that. Come with me, Mr. Bung. Hold on, Professor. You ain't plugging me into that thing. No need to worry, Mr. Bunk. I'm simply going to scan your personality. What little of it there is. <laughs> Just as I thought, the key element in Beef's personality is rage. He would rather be angry than anything. Well, that's the truth. But what's it got to do with Martian mumps? Aha! When you made him angry, it brought back his true self, thus curing his Martian mump. You mean we have to make people angry to cure him? No, 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 no. That only worked with beef because it's his strongest emotion. Someone else might be cured by laughing or hugging or singing a song. That's disgusting. What you must do is play on the emotions of your friends. Find out which is the strongest in each and bring it out in them. We'll never be able to cure the whole school that way. No, but a few more cures, you know, might convince the captain to give me time to find a more general cure. Ah, good idea, Professor. But we'll get started right away. Beef, this is against the rules. Quiet, Dimbo. I got something to show you. What are you doing, Amy? I must go to study hall. Forget study hall. I just heard the greatest secret. Ever see so many eggs rolling? I must go to study hall. Wait. You know what's down there rolling? Rotten eggs. Smell them. All green and squishy and nasty. Just right for smashing at some dweeby's face. I love it. Miss McBrain's dating Ferdy and Luigi. I must go. No, wait! You haven't heard the best one yet. Doyle's secretly in love with you. I'm what? Doyle. Oh, frat. It's true, Gilda. What can I say? I've always loved you. Your eyes, your, uh, lips. Of, of course, I wouldn't want you to tell anyone. in love with me. Oh, can you believe it? I can't wait to tell everybody. <laughs> nice work, Doyle. I'll get you for this, Amy. Oh, snap out of it, will ya? Blocking the hall is against the rules. That won't work, Egghead. This goes for something delicate. Like this. Hey, watch it! I'm no doorman! I'm a poison! <laughs> Please, Creep, just one song, one note. It'll make a new Creep out of you. A love song would be nice. Gilda, I told you, I just said that to cure you. It'll be our secret earth honk. One song, just for me. Ready, please? Oh, sweet mystery of life, my love is waiting. Doesn't that make you feel romantic, Doyle? <laughs> oh, well, what's going on, Amy? <laughs> oh, it's a long story, Creep. And it'll have to wait. We've got a cure bully. And I know just the man I need to help me. 
Bowie, you did it! You won! Won? Who does won? The record store contest, Bowie. Who? You won first prize, a date with... Mick Mager! Hello, Bowie. You're looking kind of green today, oh yeah? A one, a two, a one, a two, three, four. Mick Maggers. I think she's good. Professor, look! Captain Smirk's got to listen now. Yeah, I call him right away, yeah. Ten clues for the first three minutes, please. Anyone got ten clues? Sure, Professor. Hey! Professor Eisenstein to Captain Smirk. Come in, Captain Smirk. Salutations, Professor. Holy cremola! Captain Smirk's become a Martian. He must have caught the Martian mumps. What do you want? I have many rules to consider. Uh, sorry, wrong number. Oh, we're sunk. Now that Smirk's a Martian, he'll want to take us to Mars more than ever. Unless... Yes. Signal from Medi Federation Command for Captain James T. Smurf. Shall I put it on the screen, Captain? Huh? Yes. Captain Smurf, Commander Cleverlobe here, and uh, Grand Admiral Bunk. Captain, you have broken Medi Federation rules. And we order you to return Galaxy High to its original position. Now, Timbo! I have never heard of you, Commander Cleverlobe. And what is a Dimbo? Commander Cleverlobe is the Medi Federation's new rules expert. And Dimbo is code for obey immediately. <laughs> rules are rules. Turn the ship around. <laughs> you dweebies! Uh, hello there. Sunspots must have affected the signal, Captain. Fascinating. This school certainly changes quickly. They do not seem to like Martians anymore. I miss my friends. Come, we must find the way home. I want to thank you both for helping us the way you did. Our pleasure. Now about this cure, have you really found it? Indeed we have, Mr. Splook. Well, they've cured the whole school. This'll make medical history. It was quite simple, really. Once Doyle and Amy cured beef and others, just a matter of synthesizing the effects they caused naturally. Professor, Dr. Klotz and I would like to stay here at Galaxy High and research this cure further. Ah, of course! But what about Captain Smirk? Don't you want us to cure him? <laughs> that won't be necessary. We decided to give the captain one last rule to follow. What was that? Take any Martians in the area to Mars. We are off for Mars. Oh, good.